Darcy Lynn Farmer charmed viewers with her ventriloquist act when she appeared on America's Got Talent. But the season 12 winner doesn't always share the spotlight with her puppets these days. So what happened to Darcy Lynn Farmer after America's Got Talent? Is her life better or worse after being famous? Stay tuned to find out. Darcy Lynn Farmer was painfully shy at first. The story of Darcy Lynn Farmer, a naturally gifted performer at just 14 years of age, is a remarkable tale of transformation. It's almost inconceivable to imagine that this vibrant talent once grappled with severe shyness, especially when it came to singing in front of her own father. Reflecting on those days, Darcy revealed to the Tampa Bay Times, it was hard. I wouldn't talk to people. I would hide behind my mom. I wouldn't look people in the eye. Despite these challenges, Darcy's father, Clark, played a pivotal role in nurturing her hidden talents. He consistently encouraged her to sing around the house, helping her to gradually break out of her shell. Both Clark and Misty, her mother, recognized the need to bolster Darcy's confidence. With this goal in mind, they decided to introduce her to the world of pageants, a decision that would soon open a new chapter in her life. Their efforts bore fruit at the International Mini Miss pageant in Las Vegas. It was a turning point for the young Oklahoma native. Not only did Darcy clinch the top spot in her age group, thanks to her outstanding vocal talents, but this platform also paved the way for a life-changing friendship. Here, Darcy met the teenage winner, Larissa Bonacquisti, a friendship that would introduce her to a new world of possibilities, the art of ventriloquism. The encounter with Larissa was more than just a meeting of two young talents. It was the spark that ignited Darcy's passion for ventriloquism. Larissa, serving as an inspiration and mentor, helped Darcy discover a unique way to express herself. This newfound interest in ventriloquism, combined with her vocal skills, soon became the foundation of Darcy's burgeoning career, setting her on a path to stardom. Her parents weren't into her interest in ventriloquism. Darcy Lynn Farmer's journey into the world of ventriloquism truly began to flourish after her serendipitous meeting with Larissa Bonacquisti. Captivated by the art, the then nine-year-old Darcy found herself practicing tirelessly in front of her bedroom mirror, mastering the skill of throwing her voice and bringing characters to life. Her growing passion for ventriloquism became an inseparable part of her daily routine. Despite her undeniable enthusiasm, Darcy faced initial skepticism from her mother, Misty. You're a singer, not a ventriloquist, Misty had remarked, as noted in an interview with Parade. This response, however, did little to dampen Darcy's spirits. Her determination only grew stronger, and she kept persistently asking for a ventriloquist puppet of her own. Her persistence paid off. On her 10th birthday, Darcy's dream was realized when she received her first ventriloquist puppet, whom she lovingly named Katie. This gift was not just a toy. It was a key to unlocking her true potential. With Katie by her side, Darcy's talent quickly began to shine. Within a mere two weeks, she was already showcasing her newfound skills in local talent shows across Oklahoma, leaving audiences both charmed and amazed. Darcy's ambition soon led her to an even bigger stage. When she learned about the auditions for America's Got Talent, AGT, in Austin, Texas, she saw it as her golden opportunity. With a blend of excitement and nerves, she pleaded with her parents to take her to the auditions. Relenting to her unwavering determination, they agreed. Darcy's journey on America's Got Talent began with a leap of faith. Darcy Lynn Farmer's decision to forego her first day of seventh grade in favor of auditioning for America's Got Talent was a pivotal moment that would shape her destiny. On May 30th, 2017, during the season premiere, this decision proved to be life-altering. With her beloved bunny puppet by her side, Darcy delivered a performance of Summertime from Porgy and Bess that would be remembered for years to come. Her voice, both tender and powerful, harmonized beautifully with her puppet's distinctive rasp. Together, they swayed rhythmically to the melody, enchanting the audience and judges with a performance that felt like a magical spell. The response was overwhelming. 
the audience leaped to their feet in a spontaneous standing ovation, engulfed by waves of admiration and awe. Even Simon Cowell, known for his stringent critiques, couldn't hide his admiration. You're both brilliant, he exclaimed, reflecting the sentiment of everyone present. However, it was Mel B., the iconic Spice Girl, who would play a decisive role in cementing Darcy's journey on the show. Captivated by Darcy's extraordinary talent, Mel B. hit the golden buzzer, an action that catapulted the young ventriloquist directly into the live shows. In that electrifying moment, Darcy's dream soared as she leapfrogged over the competition stages with the press of a buzzer. The ripple effect of Darcy's performance extended well beyond the confines of the stage. The video of her audition set new records, becoming the most watched in the history of America's Got Talent within a mere 30 hours. It didn't stop there. It continued to garner views, eventually climbing to the fourth spot on YouTube's top 10 trending videos of 2017. This meteoric rise in popularity was a testament to Darcy's universal appeal, demonstrating that talent knows no age and that a young girl from Oklahoma could captivate the globe with her ventriloquism and singing prowess. From golden buzzer to champion, Darcy Lynn, Farmer's Journey on America's Got Talent, only gained momentum following her astonishing golden buzzer moment. In her first live performance, she teamed up with Oscar, her endearing mouse puppet, delivering a soul-stirring rendition of Who's Loving You? Their performance electrified the audience, earning thunderous applause and radiant smiles from the judges. As the competition intensified, Darcy continued to showcase her versatile talent. In the semifinals, she introduced the world to Edna Dorr Knocker, a sassy and comical character who quickly became a fan favorite. Together, Darcy and Edna brought down the house with a powerful rendition of A Natural Woman, leaving the audience and judges in awe. Darcy's ability to seamlessly transition between different characters, songs, and atmospheres was remarkable. The pinnacle of Darcy's America's Got Talent journey came in the final round. She once again took the stage with her beloved puppet friends, Petunia and Oscar, for a rendition of With a Little Help from My Friends. The performance was a beautiful amalgamation of love, humor, and exceptional talent, captivating everyone in the theater. It was so moving that even Simon Cowell was compelled to make a bold statement, I think you're going to win. And indeed, Darcy Lynn Farmer triumphed. The final episode of America's Got Talent was a moment of high drama and exhilaration. In a stunning culmination of her journey, Darcy shared the spotlight with none other than the legendary ventriloquist Terry Fader. Together, they delivered a remarkable duet of Anything You Can Do, which was nothing short of spectacular. As the announcement came that Darcy had won, the stage erupted in a shower of confetti, symbolizing not just her victory, but a grand celebration of her journey and talent. Yet, there was more to this triumphant moment than just the title and the prize. NBC disclosed an extraordinary fact. Darcy had garnered more votes in the finale than any other performance in the show's history. This revelation was a testament to her wide-reaching appeal and the profound impact she had made on millions across the nation. Darcy, once a timid girl who hesitated to step on a stage, had transformed into the champion of America's Got Talent, securing the prestigious $1 million grand prize. Following her spectacular victory on America's Got Talent, Darcy Lynn Farmer's life transformed in ways she had never imagined. The once shy girl, known for her powerful voice and grand aspirations, found herself in the glare of the national spotlight. Her remarkable talent, which had captivated audiences throughout the show, was now celebrated across the country. Fame and widespread recognition came knocking at her door. Yet amidst this whirlwind of newfound celebrity, Darcy remained astonishingly humble and true to her roots. Winning America's Got Talent and its grand prize was a watershed moment in Darcy's life. The $1 million prize, a staggering amount for anyone, let alone a 12-year-old, seemed like a fairy tale come to life, a dream that allowed her to consider possibilities that once seemed out of reach. 
However, Darcy's approach to this fortune was refreshingly mature and thoughtful. Rather than being lured by the allure of luxury and extravagance, Darcy's intentions were rooted in kindness and practicality. After her remarkable win on America's Got Talent, Darcy Lynn Farmer's immediate thoughts turned towards giving back. With a heart as big as her voice, she decided to make a generous contribution to her church's mission program, placing her community and faith at the forefront of her priorities. For Darcy, the essence of her achievement wasn't just personal glory. It was also about extending a hand of support and kindness to others. Next on her thoughtful agenda was a special gift for her mother, a brand new dishwasher. This practical yet thoughtful present was Darcy's way of expressing gratitude to her mom, who had been her steadfast supporter throughout her journey. Darcy also took a moment to fulfill a personal wish. Like many young girls, she had longed for a furry companion. With her newfound means, she eagerly announced plans to adopt a precious pug. Leaving America's Got Talent behind was a mixed bag of emotions for Darcy. The show had been an incredible platform, where she had invested her entire being. Reflecting on her time on the show, Darcy felt a tinge of nostalgia for the unique experiences it offered, the deep connections she forged, the extraordinary performances she delivered, and the palpable excitement of live shows. These memories were not just milestones in her career. They were cherished moments that shaped her into the performer and person she had become. As the chapter of America's Got Talent concluded, a new one in Darcy Lynn Farmer's life was just beginning to unfold. Recognizing the need to balance her burgeoning career with her education, Darcy made a significant decision to transition from public school to homeschooling. This shift was a strategic move, allowing her the flexibility to manage her rising responsibilities as a performer while continuing her educational journey. In the face of her escalating fame, Darcy's daily life maintained a surprising level of normalcy. Despite her celebrity status, the reactions she received from those around her remained largely unchanged. There were, of course, moments where her fame was unmistakably evident. Instances of awe from onlookers, requests for autographs, and occasional wide-eyed recognition. However, those who knew her best, including friends, family, and classmates, continued to interact with her with the same familiarity and kindness as before. Darcy's ability to remain grounded in the face of such rapid change is a remarkable aspect of her character. Amidst the dizzying heights of success, she held steadfast to her values and true self. This sense of groundedness is what sets Darcy apart. She navigated her newfound fame with a maturity beyond her years, embracing the opportunities and challenges it brought while staying true to her roots. The year following Darcy Lynn Farmer's victory on America's Got Talent was filled with joy, laughter, and a spirit of giving back as she embarked on a series of exciting endeavors. September 2017 marked a notable appearance on The Ellen DeGeneres Show, where Darcy showcased her ventriloquist skills, leaving the audience utterly enchanted with her charismatic performance. Her ability to engage and captivate with her puppets was as spellbinding as ever. Darcy's journey then took a whimsically spooky turn as she joined forces with comedy legend Jeff Dunham in Jeff Dunham's video, The Haunted House on Dunham Hill. This collaboration was a delightful treat for fans, blending Darcy's charm with Dunham's comedic flyer. The interplay between Darcy's puppets, Petunia, Oscar, and Edna, and Dunham's famous characters like Walter, Ahmed, Pianot, and Boba J created an uproarious dynamic that was both entertaining and memorable. Continuing her streak of remarkable appearances, November 2017 saw Darcy making a surprise guest appearance in a show with Terry Fader. Performing at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Darcy and Terry, two masters of ventriloquism, shared the stage, mesmerizing the audience with their exceptional blend of humor and puppetry. As the holiday season approached, Darcy showcased her versatility by teaming up with the acclaimed Capella Group Pentatonix for their special, A Very Pentatonix Christmas.
In a delightful twist, she and her puppet Petunia performed a comedic parody titled O Easter Egg, a playful take on the classic O Christmas Tree. Following her triumph on America's Got Talent, Darcy Lynn Farmer's career soared to new heights. Eager to share her passion for ventriloquism with the world, Darcy announced an extensive national tour titled Darcy Lynn and Friends Live. Initially, the tour was set to be a brief series of performances spanning five locations from January to February 2018. However, the overwhelming response to her talent and charisma transformed it into something much larger. The tour rapidly expanded, evolving into a grand adventure with a staggering 52 shows scheduled across the country from January 2018 to January 2019. But Darcy's year of fun and performance was far from over. As the holiday season approached, she infused a festive spirit into her tour. November and December saw the addition of Rocking Around the Christmas Tree with Darcy Lynn and Friends, a special series of nine Christmas performances. Audiences were treated to a cozy, enchanting atmosphere in theaters adorned with twinkling lights. Darcy and her beloved puppet companions filled the air with joyous carols and laughter, creating heartwarming holiday experiences that were sure to thaw even the coldest hearts. With the arrival of the new year, Darcy continued to seize new opportunities with enthusiasm. She captivated audiences on popular morning shows like Today, further showcasing her unique blend of ventriloquism and charm. Additionally, she graced the iconic stage of the Grand Ole Opry, marking another milestone in her burgeoning career. Darcy's appearance on the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards was yet another highlight, where she displayed her versatility and humorous flair. Darcy Lynn Farmer's journey following her win on America's Got Talent was an exhilarating mix of performances, charitable acts, and guest appearances, further solidifying her status as a versatile entertainer. Her return to Little Big Shots was a standout moment where she performed a powerful duet with her puppet Oscar, captivating the audience with her dynamic ventriloquism and singing skills. Darcy also made her presence felt on popular talk shows like Pickler and Ben and Steve, charming hosts and audiences alike with her quick wit and charismatic personality. In the midst of her busy schedule, Darcy found time to contribute to causes close to her heart. She participated in the Starkey Hearing Foundation Gala, utilizing her platform to make a difference and help those in need. This act of philanthropy showcased a different facet of Darcy's personality, one that values giving back and supporting charitable causes. Darcy's return to America's Got Talent as a guest performer was a triumphant moment. She dazzled the audience once again, this time with Petunia by her side, reminding everyone of the extraordinary talent that had earned her the coveted title. But her engagements didn't end there. As 2018 drew to a close, Darcy made memorable appearances on the Kids Baking Championship and illuminated NBC's Christmas in Rockefeller Center with heartwarming Christmas songs, spreading festive joy and cheer. The year 2019 kicked off with a delightful twist for Darcy Lynn Farmer, showcasing her versatility beyond the ventriloquism stage. She made a charming appearance on the Food Network show Winner Cake All proving that her talents extended to culinary skills as well. However, the highlight of the year was her electrifying return to the America's Got Talent stage, not as a guest this time, but as a formidable contender in the America's Got Talent, the Champions Edition. With her puppet Oscar, Darcy delivered a rousing medley of Nutbush City Limits and Proud Mary, earning a thunderous response from the audience and securing a spot in the top three. The excitement escalated when Darcy was brought back as a wild card act. This time, she was accompanied by the ever-enchanting Petunia, and together they performed a stunning rendition of the opera classic O Mio Babino Caro. Their performance was so mesmerizing that it left both the judges and the audience utterly speechless. The grand finale was an event to remember 
with Darcy sharing the stage with the legendary puppeteer Bill Beretta. In a captivating duet of Can't Smile Without You, Darcy as the sassy Edna and Beretta as Ralph the Dog from The Muppets created a magical and memorable moment. Though Darcy didn't clinch the top prize, her impact on the competition was profound. She demonstrated that with talent and passion, one can soar to incredible heights and leave a lasting impression. Finishing as the runner-up, Darcy left an indelible mark on the show, inspiring millions with her remarkable talent and journey. Darcy's whirlwind of success didn't slow down after America's Got Talent, the champions. She continued to fill her calendar with an array of exhilarating performances and experiences. February 2019 marked the launch of Darcy Lynn and Friends Fresh Out of the Box, a new venture teeming with laughter, music, and the unique charm of her beloved puppet companions. Darcy's journey wasn't limited to her own shows. In March, she joined forces with the Barbie Be Anything Tour, delivering a powerful message of empowerment and encouraging young girls to dream big. Come April, she lent her voice to a noble cause at the WE Day event in Washington, D.C. September saw a heartwarming America's Got Talent reunion, where Darcy appeared as a special guest performer with season 12's finalist, Preacher Lawson. Picture them delivering a stirring rendition of It's a Man's 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 World with Darcy's beloved puppet, Petunia, by her side, playfully remarking, Oh my carrots, look at all these people! Their dynamic performance electrified the audience, earning a resounding applause. The surprises and laughter continued in November. Darcy brought her unique blend of humor and ventriloquism to the sketch comedy series All That, showcasing her talent with the ever-sassy Petunia and proving that ventriloquism can captivate audiences even without singing. She also traveled to Vancouver for another inspiring We Day event, spreading her empowering message and dedication to community service. The excitement persisted into 2020. February featured Darcy and her puppet Oscar giving a soulful performance of Something's Got a Hold on Me on The Kelly Clarkson Show, with a repeat appearance in April. In July, she embraced a new role as a panelist on Nickelodeon's Unfiltered, hosted by comedian Jay Faroa. There, she shared her sharp wit and insights, showcasing her talents beyond ventriloquism. And to cap off the year, she made a triumphant return to all that as the musical guest, once again teaming up with Oscar for an exhilarating performance of Something's Got a Hold on Me. Darcy Lynn Farmer's talents also include acting. In 2022, Darcy Lynn Farmer made her cinematic debut in the musical drama A Cowgirl's Song. In this heartwarming film, she portrayed Brooke, a former barrel racer grappling with a life-altering injury, yearning to return to the rodeo world. Her character finds support and guidance from her grandmother, played by Cheryl Ladd of Charlie's Angels fame. The film also stars Savannah Lee May, known from Night Squad, as Brooke's sister Haley, who aspires to be a country music star. The film is rich in music, which really drew me to the role. The music is simply special. Farmer shared in an interview with Beautiful Ballad. Contributing to the musical essence of the film, the Imaginaries crafted the soundtrack, and Farmer was notably involved in co-writing the song Just Breathe. This track became a personal anthem for her, especially during challenging scenes. When I had to cry on camera, I reminded myself of the song's message, Just Breathe, and to trust in myself. I'm really proud of how it turned out she reflected. Alongside this, Farmer also showcased her musical talent in a music video for Just Breathe. Farmer's acting journey continued with a role in Reagan, a biopic where Dennis Quaid stars as the former United States President Ronald Reagan. In this film, she plays a swimmer who is rescued by a young Reagan, highlighting his early years as a popular lifeguard. Reflecting on this experience, Farmer expressed her enthusiasm to the Oklahoman. It was an absolutely delightful experience. I spent my days in the lake portraying someone being saved, and honestly, it felt like living a dream. What is Darcy Lynn doing now?
At just 19 years old and fresh out of high school, Darcy Lynn Farmer is not only a singer, but a multifaceted talent on a rapid ascent. Her recent headlining performance at the Herd on Herd Music Festival in Edmond, Oklahoma, a stone's throw from Oklahoma City, was hailed as a smashing success. Lynn, already known for her ventriloquism, singing, and comedy, is now honing her guitar skills, adding another string to her already impressive bowl. Following her electrifying performance, Lynn took to her Instagram, filled with excitement. What a night, she posted, alongside a photo of her energetically strumming a six-string guitar. Music is such a blessing, and sharing it with everyone was an absolute blast. Her Instagram is a vibrant tapestry of her musical journey, featuring an eclectic mix of live performances. Fans were thrilled by her rendition of Bon Jovi's Wanted Dead or Alive, set against the Oklahoma City skyline and her concerts in Iowa during her My Lips Are Sealed, except when they're not, tour, which wrapped up in late 2022. In May, Lynn announced she was hitting the road again with a performance slated at the Benton Franklin Fair in Kennewick, Washington, on August 25, 2023. Her nearly 5 million TikTok followers are treated regularly to behind-the-scenes peaks of band practices and live shows. Her social media pages offer a glimpse into the typical life of a teenage girl with extraordinary talent. There, one finds videos of Lynn whimsically singing Guns N' Roses into a hairbrush before gym class, or giving an acoustic rendition of her original composition about the relatable woes of not wanting to go to school. Does Darcy Lynn still do ventriloquism? It's delightful to note that Darcy Lynn Farmer continues to charm audiences with her trusted puppet companion, Petunia. In March 2023, Lynn brought a fresh twist to her repertoire by flirting with the idea of joining a rock band. This new venture saw her collaborating with the Long Island-based rock group AMH, Adam and the Metal Hawks. In a performance that has since become famous, Petunia, Lynn's beloved puppet, delivered an outstanding rendition of Bon Jovi's Wanted Dead or Alive showcasing not just Lynn's ventriloquism skills, but also her ability to adapt to different musical genres. The enthusiasm for Lynn's performances, especially those featuring Petunia, is palpable. Fans are eagerly hoping that Lynn will expand her tour itinerary, bringing her unique blend of music, ventriloquism, and rock and roll flair to more cities and stages. The chemistry between Lynn and Petunia is a significant part of her appeal, blending humor, talent, and a touch of the unexpected into each show. Her versatility as an artist is further highlighted by her forays into different music styles and collaborations with various artists. Whether it's country, rock, or pop, Lynn, along with Petunia, manages to create a captivating and entertaining experience for her audience. Her fans are not just looking forward to more performances, but are also curious about what new surprises and collaborations Lynn might bring to the stage next. What distinguishes Darcy is her graceful navigation through the complexities of fame, displaying a level of maturity that is rare for someone her age. Unlike many young stars who struggle with the pressures of the limelight, Darcy has remained grounded and true to herself, her social media presence is a delightful mix of professional milestones and lighthearted moments with her family and friends, reflecting her down-to-earth personality. Despite the allure of fame and entertainment, she has prioritized her education, striking a balance between her career and academic pursuits. One may wonder, how does a teenager manage the demands of a burgeoning career, academics, and fame, all while maintaining her authentic self? The answer likely lies in the strong support system provided by her family and her steadfast focus on her passions. Darcy Lynn Farmer stands as an inspiration and role model for young artists everywhere exemplifying the importance of staying true to oneself, even amidst the whirlwind of success. Now, we turn to you, our viewers. What do you think sets Darcy Lynn apart in the world of ventriloquism and entertainment? Share your thoughts in the comments section below.
And if you enjoyed this deep dive into her inspiring journey, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories like this. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for our next video. Bye.